Okay. Stand by. We're down over 12,400 feet. You should be able to see it now. Oh my. That's it. It's the Titanic. Pretty incredible, right? That's the bow. We're looking at the bow. It's all still there. I can... I can see the rails. Roger that. What's that hanging off the rails? It looks like... icicles. Icicles of rust. Yeah. They're what Dr. Bob Ballard calls rusticles. Here we go. I'm turning the ROV down along the port side of the bow. You can see those rusticles clearly now. The railings, they're, they're still there, pretty much. There's the chain for the fore end. That's... that's amazing. Now we're running back down B-deck towards the forecastle. Wow, that... that is incredible. It's a great shot. There's a hatch. Probably the first to go under the surface. What are those? Capstans. For winding ropes and cables. Let me rotate the ROP. Now we're looking back down the anchor chains. Unbelievable. It's pretty cool, huh? That's a strange box lying there. A heater. From first class. It's fallen out of place. You'd only get third class in this part of the ship. Hang on, I'll go in close. It's so ornate. Here's a cargo crane. Hard to get the scale. The base would be about 10 feet high. You can see the boom where it would be stored flat on the deck. Something's fallen across that one. That's the foremast. It's incredible how it's just still preserved. Just a hundred years later. Another hatch. <laughs> so I've turned now to track down the foremast. What's that hole? That's the entry to the crow's nest. Wow. That's where they saw the iceberg from. Is that what I think it is? Hang on, let me steady the ROV and I'll move in. Captain Edward Smith's private bathtub was plumbing for fresh water and seawater, believe it or not. What are those? Memorial plaques. There are several of those in the hull now. And that's a telemotor. What's the telemotor for? It's part of the hydraulic system that connected the ship's wheel to the steering gear and the rudder. It's still shiny. Rods and brass. They don't rust. We're about a third of the way along the hull now. I'll turn and zoom in. Can you see that hole? What is that? That's where the forward funnel was. The one that collapsed. Maybe three minutes before the end. Coming at the funnel opening from another angle. That's a water tank. Still sitting there. Incredible. It looks almost untouched. A 
double action well and quadrant lifeboat deck designed to swing the boat well over the side of the ship. So you were okay if you could get into a lifeboat? Mm -hmm. What is that? That's one of the ship's boilers. It is gigantic. So I'm over the debris field now. This is off the side of the ship. Off the side and here we're behind it. So much of it. It's huge. She kind of planes down onto the ocean floor, leaving all this stuff behind. If you look carefully, you can see bottles lying there. Another memorial plaque between the two little capstans. They're right at the back of the ship. Even here, there's more of those rusticles all along it. The whole deck is covered in it. Dr. Ballard saw it when he first explored it in 85. 